Now we, we literally just have the venture stages now, so let's see what this is. Hey, it's the intro guy. If we see Vendress at all in season two, um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure we, I'm not sure we did, to be honest. There was a severe lack of the three ma major villains in season two. Um, well, I, th I think Grievous showed up a couple of times, but D Dooku was like only really um, in in the um, holograms, from what I remember. And I don't think Ventress showed up. Period. I could be misremembering, but. Okay, what, I, what I've learned from these stages is just follow the arrows, don't try to be creative with what, uh, what you're trying to do, because it just, as soon as you start doing that, it just gets complicated. Hard to get out! One <laughs> three. Whoa! I can't do the sounds. And also the um, <laughs> the running gag of um, every other uh, astromech droid is expendable. I mean, they're just a clone trooper equivalents for the droids, the good droids. Yeah, pretty much. I'll just ignore this guy. If you're not in the movies, you're probably dying. Yeah. Kind of push her a bit more on edge sometimes because uh, you never really know when a character's like. But besides, like the main guys, you never really know when a character might die in Clone Wars because um, a lot of them can just pretty much just be expendable. So no one's really safe. Okay, what's the door of this? Oh. Okay, I forgot about this. This is cool. Yay. Nah, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Now imagine oh. how much more this game would be lagging if there was split screen going on. Oh god, yeah. Uh, I remember when we did that for that one space level, <laughs> and I think it started lagging out really badly. Uh, one more was... Where can I get one more shot? There you are. Cool. That was a cool little set piece, I like that. Now back to this. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know, I, I think... I think I've started warming up to these stages. Um, I still, I would still say that the Complete Saga ones are a lot more focused, but I will give them credit for um, trying new things with this one. And there are some, there are some sections that I do really like. Um, I guess they could just afford to not repeat things so often because you see the same kind of platform with the light surrounding it like so much that it gets a little bit tiresome but um yeah what are you gonna do i guess i will say that these levels are probably a more accurate represent accurate representation of the sheer chaos of a star wars space battle that's for sure, yeah. I definitely agree, agree with that. Wait, what? Why, why is it still telling me to go here? Uh... Okay. Okay, we got our um, torpedoes now. We have what now? Uh, just torp the torpedoes for the chub. Die. I like that you can do this. Right, I see studs down there. Is that... Okay, that's where the thing goes, I guess. Anything else? Uh... This goes out far. I know for a fact when I have to go back during the streams uh, for collectibles, I'm gonna make sure I have a mini the mini kit detector on hand because I don't wanna have to sit through these stages multiple times, like just blindlessly look looking for them. Or blindly looking for them rather. Where do I use these? If anywhere. Oh, Oops. I guess I can wait. So many studs. Okay. It 
Is it just me or is it easier to die in this game compared to most LEGO games? It might be because of the amount of enemies, but... Oh god. Travelers. Yeah, was trying to flex this time around. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of this. A lot of stuff in this game feels like it's making the Wii cry. <laughs> Well, I remember one of the early stages where I had like a million enemies on screen and it it was just a hot mess with the frame rate. Alright, let's go in quickly. Okay, so I assume it's the same deal with this. I don't mind doing this a second time, this is- this is fun. Okay, yeah, I, I have no idea where a minikit would be in this stage, let alone nine of them. That's gonna be interesting to figure out. up another ship. God, actually, before I do that, is there another mini I can get with these? Nope, just studs. Okay. I thought that was- I seriously thought that was Obi-Wan just jumping around in space for a minute. I was so confused. Yeah, it's just a- it's just a missile. I could just do this for a little bit to get more studs. Don't know... How necessary that is though. This is giving us a lot. Yeah, we, we can get to it in no time. I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this forever, but... Yeah, we're gonna get to True Jedi at this rate. So hey, you think we'll actually make True Jedi in this level? Yay! Yes! <laughs> Okay, that's a that's kind of a cheap way to do it, but I don't know how much longer this level is, so we'll just roll with it. <laughs> that's one stage that I don't have to worry about um, for later. At last, at last, the Jedi are no more. Not if anything to say about it. I have. No. Oh. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh yeah, there was this thing. We never used it. Oh, I I tried to use it, but then I just deactivated it. Okay, what's up here? 
more things. Okay. I'm still worried the fact that they, the other arrows didn't disappear. I hope I didn't miss something. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember now. Um, this is, oh, this is literally the, um, the hub world. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess in fairness, the hub world is literally one of the, um, one of these ships. So. Yeah, I remember vividly being extremely lost in this level for like half an hour, going around everywhere and not knowing how to progress. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. We'll see, I guess. Can you remember? Can you remember um, any like a point in any game where you got uh, completely lost for? a lengthy period period of time. Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Okay, that's fair. Um I I only played like I played the majority of that with my brother and I never went back to it because it at this point it just kinda feels wrong to play it without him. But I can imagine um I can imagine getting lost in that game because it the and the hub itself is massive. Oh, you mean like getting lost? Like you just really don't know where to go. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't get far enough in that. Excuse me. The hub world they usually telegraphed where you needed to go. So yeah, that's that's, like, that's fair. I was generally okay with that. I just, it was the last level of the Chamber of Secrets portion. I just could not figure out what to do to defeat the Basilisk. Oh. And I it did. turns out they just literally wanted you to use, like, Wingardium Leviosa on the sword instead of, you know, just picking it up. That's, yeah, that sounds really arbitrary. Uh, I don't remember that at all. I know for, I'm pretty sure we at least finished the first two movies, so I'm, I must have seen that at some point, but, um,. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Yep, I can definitely breathe oh. in space. Can I... can I... F I'm not sure if I can fly to that. Uh, maybe? No. Okay, there we go. I feel like that was cheesing it. Yeah, that didn't feel right. We were probably just supposed to fly into it, uh, see how, see how this goes. I don't, maybe? I don't know, that seems like it would go too high. Okay. Okay, I think this is the point where I just completely got lost. Um, so, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll just go over here, I guess? Where's Ahsoka? I don't know. Destroy these. Is that the end of the level, or...? Oh, I think I think I know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in here. This might be the reason why they left the arrows on. Um, and see if it lets me destroy these. So I don't know what else I'd have to do. Yeah. Okay. So let's just do the same thing again. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay. What episode is this even based on anyway? I don't remember it. I... I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I think I understand why I got lost now. It's... The fact that, uh... You don't really expect to have to do the same thing twice, so I kind of just wandered around in circles. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Okay, yeah, now I need to get more torpedoes. Okay, this should be the end. Maybe. No. Oh. Okay, okay. That's... At least that makes it pretty obvious where, where to go. Yeah, I wanted to get 100,000 just for the sake of it. God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What exactly do you want me to do her? Oh, I just hit the other switch? Okay. Yep. <laughs> do not care about any of these guys. Oh, okay. That looked kind of funky. Soka, we didn't even... What were you doing? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. We haven't unlocked a new character in a while. Yeah. Got a Starfighter. That's cool. Actually got true dead uh true Jedi. And it was just the Oh okay. Okay, we got two. The amount of, like, post-game gold bricks there are is insane. Okay. What do we have next? Innocence of Ride-Off. Okay, so we're following up on that. Part of me does kind of miss the these old Lego games with the grunts, because I know there's a group of people that really don't like the the fact that they made these games have the characters talk now. <laughs> Jeez. It doesn't bother me too much in the grand scheme, but. 
I I do there there is a specific charm with the old grants. Um Although that being said, uh, I did uh, I, again I did play complete so not complete saga but um, the Lego Star Wars games on the PS2 um, before I saw any of the movies, and I literally had no idea what was going on. Um, and the fact that no one talked didn't exactly help. So That's I, probably yeah. one of the reasons why I'm guessing. Probably one of the reasons why we have dialogue now. I guess Traveler's Tales presume that no one actually read the title crawls, which, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't look at any of that. <laughs> as you, um, as evidenced by this playthrough. <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm fine with looking at one title crawl, title crawl per movie, uh, but not every chapter. Like, that, that's just too much. Uh, what's your opinion on, like, the grunts versus the talking? I don't really care. Fair. I, I do, I do, um, it is nice the fact that they uh, considered working something out for Skywalker Saga, um, for the people who wanted that, um. I'm not even sure if they're, at, like, that, that could have, not to be cynical, but that could have just been them trying to put the fire out early, I don't, Maybe. Yeah, it, 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 I don't, yeah. I, I don't know if they actually can or want to do go through all the, the effort of putting in a grunting mode for all the cutscenes, it just... I don't, yeah, part of me feels like it's not going to happen as well, but the fact that they acknowledge the people who want that, I I appreciate that much at the very least. Are you guys going to like... Okay, whatever. We've reached a point where Lego games without grunts are have been around longer than the Lego games with grunts. Yeah, what was the first game that did, uh, that had voices? Lego Batman 2, that was okay. eight years ago. Dang. I imagine most people were fine with that because it was not really directly adapting any Batman movies or cartoons, it was just kind of doing its own thing. Hmm, that's interesting. First time we got to like voice acting in a quote unquote direct adaptation was Lego Lord of the Rings, and that one I think just recycled audio from the movies. Mm. Like that's my that's generally my personal worst case scenario for for voice acting in the Lego games. Yeah, when you, when it's like ri ripped right from the movies, you can you can uh, you can really tell because uh, I know sometimes. What is it, in Force Awakens? They do that like all the time, and it feels really weird. I thought they just got the movie actors in to record new lines. Maybe I, I could be wrong, but um, I do know I do know that a lot of the lines are the like the the uh, a lot of the dialogue is the same. It could be re-recorded. Re I don't know, but. Uh, that gold console, like can the black the uh, stormtroopers, clone troopers, just blast it up? You know, group, group drew a group effort. Drew a group effort. I don't know. That's that's uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So if I do this, okay, I was just using the wrong character. Fair enough. I was wondering why they weren't like letting me do this. Um, 
Oops. Uh, well, I guess since we're talking about LEGO games and voice acting, it's time to discuss the Skywalker Saga. Oh, yeah! So, um, yeah, so that game actually got shown off. Um, well, cut, uh, I guess loosely. Uh, oh, I see. That's actually kind of clever. I like that. Um, so we got a... A gameplay trailer basically and I was I was kind of hoping I was kind of hoping for just general like gameplay like have Jeff and Bob on the couch playing the game and just being like so this is Skywalker Saga this is how the game works and then they like just go through like a level or two just to just so we can see it in action I was that's kind of what I was hoping to say but no, it, it was just a general gameplay trailer that went through a lot of stuff really quickly. Um, I'm not sure what to make of it, any of it now because uh, it went by so fast and a lot of details are still relatively unclear, but we at least saw gameplay. That's the important thing. <laughs> They really were emphasizing the over the over the shoulder view. Yeah. We never. I don't think we saw any actual co-op gameplay in that trailer. Yeah. The more modern these games get, the more or the less they feel designed around co-op, and more like single-player adventure games. Like even, like especially when you consider the fact that. Lego City on the Wii U only had like one player the whole time. I don't know about the 3DS game, I never owned that one, but um, I think they added like a sec- like a pretty much a cloned Chase McCain for, for all intents and purposes for the Switch and other versions. I believe they did. Yeah. So, so it's still like it's still in their minds to make sure it's make sure these games are played with two people. Um, with the fact that like they make up things a lot in, say, like Lego Incredibles, just to have two players available. Um, So we'll see what happens with Skywalker Saga. We we already like I checked the Steam page. There's there's multiplayer. It's just yeah. Trailer just didn't focus on it that much. Hmm. But I'm getting like more and more convinced though that it's gonna be local only. Like I, I just I have this feeling in in the back of my head that they're just not gonna bother with online. And I, I get it. I, I after the uh, the um, mess that was complete sagas online, I can get not try wanting to try that again. But it it would be really nice. It'll make our lives so much easier. Yeah, destruction. This level one from, this level one from zero to a hundred really fast. Yeah. Ah, crap. Well, what we saw, what I saw, what we saw the gameplay looked um, looked um impressive um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can you can tell those sound alikes for the characters. Yeah. I was hoping that they would get more movie reprisals since Force Lego Force Awakens apparently got pretty much everyone mm. for new dialogue. I'm presuming. Yeah, it definitely feels like the uh, OG actors in that game. Well, it sounds like them rather. Only time we're gonna get Harrison Ford to do that. 
I don't know what wizardry they pull off to get him to record for that. Yeah, like he sounds like he's just completely done with Star Wars. It's like, if you if you if you record if you record for uh uh okay I was gonna say am I stuck? If you record uh, lines for us, um, we'll g give you a bunch of free dinners or something, uh, and like you you'll get lots of money. I have no idea. <laughs> Record for this game and we'll pay for any ex hospital expenses if you crash your plane again. <laughs> that is more of it, but he seems to have an issue with his plane. Mm. Like, uh, I, I worry about him sometimes. What? Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's like having a whole barricade, a whole barricade for one dollar behind it. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Is that a thing? No. Okay. So yeah, I'm guessing a. A deal of sound alikes for the movie characters, probably just defaulting back to Clone Wars actors for every prequel character that isn't 3PO. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. Uh, yeah, you know, Ridley, Boyega, and uh, Isaac sure as heck ain't coming back. Yeah, they sound like the. A lot, of, from what I understand, a lot of them sound like they're just really frustrated with the whole thing. So I don't really know what's go going on with that. And the. Uh, yeah, the furthest we can get away from Star Wars drama, the better. He says, as we prepare for our Let's Play to, for the next year. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Harry. The reckoning is coming. Yeah, it'll come eventually. Well, so that game's gonna be huge, because, um, I, like, not that long ago, I saw this video, and apparently there's gonna be, like, 24 free-roaming planets, and the description of, like, how big these planets are supposed to be is, like, absolutely insane. So I, I have no idea how long that's going to take. I'm guessing we're going to actually unlock every character. Yeah, we're going to try our best. Like, there's apparently like over 500 characters, so... That's going to be fun. <laughs> I am looking forward to it, though. It's going to be a long ride, but... It's the game I'm. It's one of the games I'm actively looking forward to at the moment, and there's not too many of those right now, so. Well, with that being said, um, the time of this recording, uh, the 3D Mario All Stars Collection got announced. Um, I, I know, oh yeah, sequence break, <laughs> um, I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding that whole thing, but, I don't know, uh, regardless of any of that, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing the, playing the games on the Switch. Are you gonna try getting 3D All-Stars? My brother might. <laughs> I will. I will agree with, with people in the sense that the 
limited time thing doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I get wanting to have it for the anniversary specifically, but completely removing the game so people can't get it anymore is just bizarre. I don't I don't know why you don't want sales. Like I, I don't I don't get it. I wouldn't be surprised if the they would sell the games digitally separate sell separate versions of the games digitally down the line. That's what I'm expecting to. Not really an excuse, but an explanation. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what some I I have heard other people say that as well, and I feel that that's the most likely outcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Duh. Dang. Okay. Oh god, you have to actually fight these things. Now you can ride them. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Can I? Oh yeah, I can. Woo! Things look like ticks and murders of dinosaurs. Yeah. Do I... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay, so I, I gotta put them all in those areas. One Balgor just chilling. Yeah. Whoa, they're pretty fast. Okay. There's still a barrier for the other one, which is a problem. Is that uh, vehicle still here somewhere? Because I don't know how else I'm going to break it. I don't think so. Uh, okay, then. Hmm. I guess, I guess I can use this guy. Waxer. Alright. I'm, I'm assuming they wouldn't be evil enough to... Okay, there we go. Yeah. So if they locked you out of this, that would be terrible. Have fun with that. Can we get off the button? No. 